man, you got diaries. <laughs> Let me in it. Let's just be good. <laughs> that turned to red. Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Do whatever you want with your T's and M's, however. Lumberjacking's dangerous work. What with all these diapers around? You know what Winnipeg is known for? Uh, neither do we. They say that two Canadian monks live on a secluded island in the middle of Vancouver. This poor citizen was killed by a dire bear. You know what a dire bear is, right? It's like a bear, but it's dire. Sorry, buddy, but there's dire bears up there. Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with diabands? Tell you what, kill off all the diabands in the north of town and I'll help you however I can. Job, you've done it! Look at all these diabare pelts! Now I can finally make a diarobe! All right, give me that document! Mm, yes, this is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec! I will speak with the Prince. Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most diarobe in all of Canada. I see you have dire aids. You are now cured of dire aids. You still have aids, but it is no longer dire. It's like Magic Johnson aids. There you are. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. <gasps> kill the bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the bishop of Banff for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! We're gonna send you straight to heck! Feel my righteous fury! Have you been to Newfoundland? You won't find better sodomy in all of Canada. Crabs are tough, sure, but if you ask me, the deadliest catch is man. Banff Canadians are quite religious. Praise Christ! Praise God! Praise God and Christ! The Prince thinks Canada is a monarchy! But there's other people with opinions by God! Sorry, God. What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? Assassin! Hello. God damn it! He knows not what he does. I really feel sad for him. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, you don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please. Take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Bless you, my son. It'll be our secret. Wow, good thing I saved these. <laughs> Poor dire pig. Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's bars! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, 
You. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. Many wonderful films are shot in Vancouver. All of them are about cabins terrorized by serial killers. Hockey is quickly becoming the world's 11th most popular sport. Welcome to Vancouver, the San Diego of Canada. People come from far and wide to buy our 2010 Winter Olympics merchandise. They say that the Duke earned his title by winning a log roll with the last Duke. Yes, yes, I know. But Ottawa is clear on the other side of Canada. How are we supposed to get there? Uh-huh. Yes, I see. Oh, wow. No, I didn't know that. Yes, come on. Yeah, I hate that guy, too. Uh -huh. No, I haven't seen that show as a kid. A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. Someday, maybe I'll be Duke of Vancouver. The Duke of Vancouver is a very busy man. Who are you? Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about, Terrence. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. What is the sound of one anus farting? <laughs> oh, now you know. <laughs> he knows Dragon Shout. Any magician's apprentice can dragon shout. It's not like he fought it into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. <laughs> if he's really good, how come he can't sneak a fart behind your fares? <laughs> the sneaky squeaker! Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. <laughs> Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric Von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again! Now you try! Believe in yourself! No, 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 you call that a fart! You must focus harder! And push harder, too. Think of your anus muscles as a puckering kiss. Pucker, pucker. Now you try. Believe in yourself. That's it. Now let us see how Nagasaki works in battle. These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! And don't ever, ever fart on a man's balls.
Je suis libre! Je suis libre! Oh! Ne vous besoin de quelque chose de tradout? Ok! C'est la scène tradout par celle-là. C'est la scène tradout par celle-là. Voilà! Bonjour! Merci beaucoup! Ready to go back? The girls are ready to see you. See? Right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass! But Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi. Yay! 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 You served us well, new kid. So you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. 